Hi, welcome, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the outro or ending, call it whatever you want, of an agreement. And I want to discuss some things with you to show you how it what exactly. If you want this agreement, you'll find the link in the description. Just go to the site and then order it or become a member. You can get it for a cheap price. And that's it. So let's look at the agreement. So as you can see, here you see the agreement. And what you need to keep in mind is when you have an agreement, you always have the intro, outro. So you have the outro here and the body part. So we have the intro, body, and outro. So in the previous video, we talked about this. And we also talked about in two videos about the body. Now we're gonna talk about a little bit about the outro and why it's important. So when you look at the outro, you have a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. There are some agreements you need to put in it, like the government law, and you need to make sure that both parties sign it. But the person that sign it needs to be the person that represents the company or other person. The reason I'm saying that is because if I go into an agreement with Apple, I need to have an Apple representative, and I can check that in the Chamber of Commerce of a country. That's something you need to keep in mind. The reason why I'm saying this is because let's say someone, a client of you claim that he has a company, ask them, okay, can you show me the company registration number or st status or whatever, Chamber of Commerce number. Reason why is that is you can check if the person is registered in order to represent it. Why I'm saying this is because when the person signed the agreement, technically you have to agreement with the person if it's not valid. But if it's valid, you have an agreement with the company. This is really important because otherwise everything you put in here doesn't really work. So the name have to be correct and this needs to match this one. If it doesn't match this one, you have a problem. And if the person is not the right representative, you still have a problem. So keep that in mind and you'll be like, okay, but I let things sound, I work with people online. You have a lot of third companies, third party companies that offer the option to sign online. It's not technically necessary, but you need it as a proof. But you can also ask someone for confirmation. So you send them an email, ask them for confirmation, and then, boom, we have an agreement. So, but you need to make sure that it's obvious that the person is sending it and it's the representative. So it all depends on the situation. So when you have those kind of situations where you do not know for sure, just go on a Discord, just Press the link in the description, go in Discord, and in Discord you can ask me a question about it and I see if I can help you or not. It's actually that simple. So this is why the outro is important. The government law is also important. Why is that important? Keep in mind if I'm working, let's say this is A, this is B. They go into contract. A is, let's say, in Europe, and B is in Australia. They, they have a contract, right, ma'am? Which law are you going to follow? The law of um, AU, Europe, or the law of Australia? Those things you can put in the government law in here. Technically, it's in the body, but most people put it at the end. It doesn't really matter as long as you understand the structure. But you put it in here, and then you say, you know what? The, the law of um, Australia applies for this, or the law, EU law applies for this. It's really important because when something goes wrong, um, do you need to fly all the way to Australia just to get your point or do B needs to go to Europe to, pro, um, to go after the company of the person? That's something you need to keep in mind. And especially if you talk about big amount of money, you need to do this. Otherwise you have a problem. So technically that's how it works. So if you have a question about it, what you can do is just go in the Discord. In the Discord you can ask me about this directly so the link is in the description if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe it's for free you see that it's for free and if you like this video like it like it right now thank you see you in the next one